Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be welding this quick attach onto a skid steer quick attach, I guess. A three point quick attach to skid steer quick attach. Real simple deal, or should be. Customer just ordered this plate and then ordered this. And the whole idea is to be able to hook this up quickly with the front end loader of his tractor and hook on to anything with a three point to either move it or uh, I think he's got a little deal that hooks up to a three point that holds like tools like uh, land clearing clearing tools weed eaters and chainsaws and stuff but anyway uh so it's just a nice little option he's gonna have here and literally all I'm doing is flushing this up right here at the at the bottom just like so and whatever sticks out at the top is whatever sticks out at the top and I'm just probably going to put a weld here here inside inside here here same same on this side in other words with 7018 so the first thing i'm going to do is fire up this weld machine get a tack on it get four tacks probably one two three four and then i'll take a wire brush and brush all that paint off and then i'll just go to welding i'll have a little gap here to weld a uh, guy could put a plate there if he wanted to but it ain't but it's not even a quarter it's probably 3 16 gap so i'll probably just just fill that with my weld but yeah should be a fairly simple project beautiful day today got a nice little spot in the shade here at his place and uh yeah let's get this thing welded on change my hour meter hour meter quit working at I don't know. I can't. I don't know if it was 6,500 or 5,500. We'll just say 6,500, and I've got almost 400 hours on it since I replaced it. So I'm actually going to take some 1 8 60 10. Those of you that uh, may be new, you might be noticing this is red versus the gray 60 10 I normally use. Uh, whenever I was in South Dakota helping my brother, this is all we could get a hold of. And, and I actually, I kind of like it. So anyway, that's what I have on my truck right now. It's the same, I don't know the scientific difference. I know it's called 60 10 and the gray is called 60 10 5P plus. So again, that, they're both very similar. It's still what I call a cellulose rod or it's still what I call a downhill rod as far as slang term uh, but it's a cellulose just like 6010 5p plus versus a low hydrogen rod which is 7018 which is, which is what we tacked this with and that's what we'll end up capping it with 7018 but to fill these gaps I'm going to use 6010. Same temperature just different welding rod. And then I'll just do that on all 
all the sections and then come back to 7018 and put 7018 over it. a done deal so right here because there's a plate welded on the bottom of of this and so all that to say is i tried to do one pass and i could have probably made my machine a little warmer or so to help me kind of fill that in more but it just it wasn't welding so great so on these other three i just put two passes on top of the 6010 and that just it just welded a lot better down here i just one but anyway there you have it all did all done now i'll use this gin pole to lift it up and set it on the ground right here for him Thanks for coming along with me today. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to check out our two websites, arosswelding.school and arosswelding.com. And I wanted to ask a question and plant a little seed, if you will. For those of you that may be watching and, and, may, and that may be interested in pipeline welding, I'm curious, would you be interested in an in-person workshop on walking you through all the way through how to do the 12 on 12 branch pipeline test. So for those of you who don't know, the 12 on 12 pipeline branch test is one of the most common pipeline weld tests that you have to take to get on most pipeline jobs. And so if you're interested in learning from me in person here in Oklahoma, let me know down in the comments uh, just by saying, yes, I'm interested. Just comment that down below. Uh, we are currently planning a couple of dates here coming up soon. And so, but I'm just, I'm curious for those of you that may be watching uh, and have been following for a long time or, or uh, interested in pipeline welding or, or whatever. I'm curious if you're interested in something like that. I'm really excited about it. Um, I think it would be extremely helpful. I know if I had something like that whenever I was just starting out pipeline welding, I would have definitely been interested in that type of thing. But I'm curious to hear from you. If you're serious about pipeline welding, you already have a welding rig. I want to know from you, are you interested in an in-person workshop? So let me know, know down in the comments below. Have an awesome weekend, and remember, learn something every day. Thanks again for being here.